Tanny Games here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here today with a Discord review of the Dream Snap submission. Wait, Discord review? Dream Snap review of the Discord submissions. I never know which way to say these things, but yeah, we're basically looking over all your submissions for the uh, Moana Dream Snap Challenge. You've all got such amazing and beautiful submissions. So I'm really excited to show these off with you all just so that you can see the amazing creations that are out there. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't vote a lot um, or find that they don't come across amazing submissions. So I think this is a great opportunity to really showcase the creativity within the community and everything like that so let's not waste any time let's jump over to discord and see what amazing snaps you guys have come up with okay so first of all we are gonna start off with chloe i love this dream snap i think it's super cute i love how you're posing with pua we have moana in the shot right um towards the front well i say towards the front you guys are kind of in the middle but like she's <laughs> she's not tucked behind everything is what i mean to say <laughs> oh dear um but yeah so we've got moana here we do have the statue of maui in the background which i think is a cu cute little touch um the beach is nicely decorated there's a lot of decor here i love that you've still got all your uh orbs on the uh little beachy island bit <laughs> that we have to do towards the end of the game um so that's really cool just to see that in the distance but yeah this looks lovely it definitely is a great representation of the dream snap theme next up we have pupster with this really cool shot i love that you've got the boats in the shot that is something that i did originally want to utilize in my dream snap um and then when I made the snap on my husband's account, I was like, oh, I can use the boats and then realized he didn't have them. So <laughs> that was that plan ruined. <laughs> but yeah, I love to see it. I love to see the little dinghy and you've got the canoe at the front. We've got Pua in the water, the little um, turtle. And I love the glowing lights. The glowing lights are everything in this submission. Um, it looks amazing, uh, well lit. I love how even your hair glows like how do you manage to do that <laughs> um but yeah this is a really cool and really fun shot so good luck to you and to Luca. next up we have Luanil with this submission and holy <laughs> if this isn't number one if this isn't number one oh my god this is just fabulous how does your character look so beautiful as well? Like, she looks amazing. And I love this. And obviously, it looks like you're dancing with Moana, which I think is absolutely incredible, to be honest. Like, this is obviously the pose with the little uh, capybara. But, like, you've disguised it so well. And... I don't even see how you've trapped Moana in. Like, how have you even done that? Like, she must have been free roaming to an extent. There's, like, literally, like, no way. <laughs> like, there's nothing there in front of her. So she must have had quite a bit of movement, I would have thought. But this is just incredible. The angle, um... The fact that you've got the beach, you've got the water, you've got the tropical landscaping. This is everything. This is superb. Um, yeah, this is just fantastic. And even the moon in the background. Like, the more I look at this, the more I'm like, oh, do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? <laughs> this is just beyond incredible. This is a wonderful submission. Next up, we have Otto's submission. And I love this. This is super fun. I love that you've managed to get, like, the turtles involved. I love that you've got the flowery capybara roaming around. Uh, the monkey pose is super cute. Um, I actually love this little bit of detailing with this um, ship in a bottle here. This looks so cool. I don't know why. It just looks so cool. Like, getting that close-up on it. I think that's one of the things that I love sometimes about seeing dream snaps like this is like there's items that are little and i i kind of 
I don't want to say insignificant, but maybe they're a bit insignificant. Like, I just don't think much of them. But then, like, you get close-up shots like this, and it's just like, what? I never knew it looked that cool. And I love the little, like, shine and sparkle on it. That's incredible. We have Moana in the background. Um, we've got the boat, which is a nice little addition as well. Um, and even, like, this beach house as well works well. This is just really fun, and I do... I do think the blobfish is funny and we've got the little crocodile here as well <laughs> so this is a great shot i love this full of fun uh very vibrant so i think this is gonna do very well next up we have amethyst unicorn submissions i love this one i love that we've got maui and moana as a pair um i would have had both of them in one of mine but like, it was difficulty getting them lined up where they were both in the shot. So, I think all my shots only have one character, maybe? I think. I, I don't even remember, but yeah. <laughs> um, but I love this little setup with the beach chairs. We've got the waterfall. This is done on Eternity Isle. And I love that because I love the waterfalls in the background. Gives it this really nice kind of like almost tropical feeling or vibe this is a wonderful submission and then we have your other account here and this is a lovely submission too really nice cute pose with the turtle here and then we've got moana on the left um the hut, beach hut looks amazing um like a little house is it called a beach hut would that be fair i don't i don't know but like this beach home um very very cute um yeah i just like this and i even like the detailing with the floor with the little bordered path to create this kind of like different stone rock texture i think that's really cool so this is a wonderful submission next up we have winter dragonfly with this one i love how poo is like coming out from behind your dress that's super fun all the flowers here look incredible it's amazing how much life you've kind of breathed into this area if that makes sense i love the decoration with the little moana scramble coin pieces as well i think that's a cute little detail that you have added to the shot we've got a bit of decor here we've got the vases we've got the uh canopied couch and things like that i do think there's a beach banquet there um but yeah it all looks very um like natural like this feels like you know how sometimes some images can feel a bit constructed if that makes sense this looks kind of like a natural or like consistent placement of items which i love um then we've got your next image here and this is a great one we've got maui in this shot instead we've got pua running uh towards the camera which is really really cute i love that we've got the boat in here um all again the tropical vibes and everything like that with the plant and foliage is lovely um i just think this is a well built well constructed scene and i think this is going to do well and next up we have henry with this submission and this is really cool i do like this i love that you're is it takar yeah i think it's takar um I love that and then you've got Moana and Maui here and it's like Maui's watching and the fact that you've got Moana walking towards you it does just really um, remind you of the film which I guess is like the whole purpose of this shot is that it's meant to look like that you know the scene where she's walking towards with the the heart and stuff like that I just think this is a really great uh nod to the film kind of thing like a great reference to it a lot of these uh submissions which are not in a bad way by the way <laughs> are obviously just set up scenes of like a village and stuff like that which is great which is on theme and everything like that but this kind of also makes you think about the actual film itself in a sense so i love that i think that's really uh fun and creative next up we have curls fantasy with this submission and i love all the sparkles on this i i, I love a bit of sparkle <laughs> um so i do love that i love that you've got all these sparkling lights here i'm trying to figure out how this was done like which effect is is it the flowers do they really rise up that high 
I don't know, but it looks really good either way. Um, I love that we've got Moana's house set up here. I love that you can see the waterfalls in the background and the boat. I think that works beautifully with it. Um, and then we have got the Maui statue as well. This is a very pretty shot. I love the lanterns as well. I think they add a bit of extra dimension to the shot. And obviously having Moana in a like a, a movement pose I think is always good. I know the struggles of getting that. So um, yeah, I think this is wonderfully creative and I hope it does well. Next up we have Wild Faye with this submission and I love this. I think it's fun. It's super cute. I love that we've got this angle of the boat um, so we can really see these like fish bits and stuff like that. I think that's super cool. And then we do have the other boat in the background which is I believe the way that you get to Ariel and stuff like that. So that's a cute little touch. We have a bit of the um moana's home here which is nice i love to see like like bits of uh items and stuff like that rather than like necessarily feeling like you have to see the full thing just like kind of getting snippets i think works really really well um and stuff like that so it's really nice to kind of have that slightly different perspective while including an item that's going to be in a dozen <laughs> other shots you've still created something that has like a visual uniqueness to it next up we have miss verna with this beautiful submission i love the little um turtle here at the front it's super cute um we've got the little uh what are these called surfboards oh my god i can't believe i forgot that word then we've got the little surfboards here which is adorable the boat in the background is a nice touch um and even these like sea anemone beadlet things are really cute lining this little is it like a pathway it looks like you've got the like the decking boards down there which is kind of cute obviously we've got moana and maui here and we've got the maui statue as well so i think this is a lovely little setup next up we have jasper who has this moana submission now you have mentioned that uh she wasn't available at the time for you to take this snap so um fair enough totally understand that i i get the struggles um i love this little mickey cloud in the middle um i'm everyone knows i'm a fan of a mickey cloud um I do like how we've got Pua here running off to the side. We've got Maui. The fact that you've got the boats in the shot. Like <laughs> I said it earlier, I really wanted to include these boats in my shot, but I just couldn't make it work because there was too much of a gap between my scene and the boats and stuff like that. And it just felt like disjointed. <laughs> so I'm I'm glad that you've made this work. I think definitely to kind of make this work, they the boats either needed to be in the background or you have to be in the water with them kind of thing so i love that that's where your character is standing and that you've done this on the little island by skull rock i think that's really cool um i love the trees and everything this is just a really um in some ways a very simple shot but a very pretty one next up we have nan logan with this shot and this looks super fun i really like this um i love the lighting and actually how you've included this pillar here with like the the tree on it this is from the sunlit plateau that's such a cute addition um i would never think to include it but it does kind of work well within the scene um i love the pose with the little robot i i, I love the little robot and we've got moana here as well i love that this really has like a um a life to it that we have you know almost like this kind of like market vibe it feels very almost like central very uh like a very community feel to it if that makes sense like you could imagine the kind of like uh fishmongers on the left side and um the fruit market people on the right or the vegetable market people and then we've got this like central eating area as well or seating area i think it's really cute next up we have glitch with this submission and i really like this it's kind of cute how you've got moana and maui looking at the maui statue like that's really really cool um and it does uh <laughs> help with moana's resting bee face <laughs> 
<laughs> as I saw you put in your comments. <laughs> At least we don't have to see that. I don't know why she's she's always like kind of glaring. I love Moana. I love Moana in this game and everything like that. So, um, but yeah, <laughs> I understand the struggle. I love how you've kind of got this like Tafiti look about you, which is amazing. Um, and your character looks beautiful. And I love how we've got this kind of like setup with all the foliage, the beach grass, and everything like that. It just works really, really well. Um, I think this is a beautiful little setup and scene and it looks really good and I'm excited to find out what your results are. Next up we have Donut with this submission and oh my god, look at that Mickey Cloud, isn't it beautiful? I love it, I love how your character's dressed, you've got Moana here, I love this fish market vibe, it's, it's so cool. Like, even including Eric's ship in the background really adds to the, like, the market vibe of it. Like, I can literally imagine uh, a ton of fishermen and everything like that coming in, docking, and unloading their hauls and everything like that. Like, it really has that vibe. And then you've included the fish on this little, um, not carport. <laughs> It's not cardboard. What is it? This crate. This wooden crate. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this wooden crate. Lovely little detail. I really enjoy that. And I think this is a fantastic submission. Next up, we have Kira. And oh my god. How beautiful. How beautiful is this? Okay, now Kira's a content creator here on YouTube. If you haven't checked her out, make sure to do so. Um, but this submission is so gorgeous. I love the kind of like light rays that you've made using the uh the orb pillar. Yeah, orb pillar. Um, you have got Pua here right at the very front of the shot. You've got Moana to the left near her home nala's waterfall item looks so cute and i think it's a really really good addition especially with the added foliage around it so it doesn't feel so out of place it does kind of feel like it's um like one with the island if that makes sense like it feels kind of attached um i like the little like fish hut in the background not fish hut like the 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 beach house, the beach house. I like that in the background. I think it works really, really well. And the colours in this are so beautiful. It's so stunning. You've done amazing with this. Next up, we have high five to the face uh, with this submission. And I love this. I love that you've got the sun in the background, but it's kind of like shadowed by the trees. The way it peeks through, it's just lovely. And then obviously the colour of the sky with that is it's so pretty. And then I really, really like how you've got this um, like Moana stone thingy. Does it like glow at night? This has like a real glow to it that I don't think I ever noticed. And I do love all the other glowing plants. I think they're a lovely addition. You pose in here with Moana and Pua. This is very on theme. Very, very pretty. And I'm excited to find out about your results. Okay, now this is the submission that I made on my husband's account. Uh, we had a lot of trouble with this submission. I spent, I hate to admit, I spent like four hours on this snap. Four hours. I spent so long. Okay, so the reasoning for spending so long. Okay, I spent ages setting up the scene hiding all the items in terms of tag count then i had to get the characters set up i got Mo moana in the shot i got maui in the shot and then i was trying to time everything with mirabelle and her butterflies and then moana dancing i didn't really care what maui did so long as he was looking towards the camera um but yeah, trying to deal with Moana, Maui, Mirabelle, and then her little companion, her little Pua, because I couldn't get Pua to do what I wanted. <laughs> um, it was a struggle. 
And then I had other characters coming into the shot. So I had to try and get rid of them. And at one point, the Forgotten was in the shot. And I went to get rid of the Forgotten. And I accidentally walked into Moana's house and reset everything. So every character was gone. And then I had to try and collect them all again. And then Maui was like in the restaurant or something. Or he was in a shop. And then I couldn't get Maui out. And then I got Maui out. But then Moana was in her house. And then I couldn't get Moana out. So I just cut my losses and was like, I'd rather Moana than Maui. And then I was waiting ages to time Mirabelle and Moana up. And I couldn't time them up. And then, oh, it was just a struggle. And then Beavis uh, came down from his meeting. He, uh, yeah, he came down. He, um, he, he basically was like, this looks pretty enough. Take it and live with it. So this is what we got. <laughs> if it was up to me, I would have kept going. I would have kept waiting. <laughs> um, I don't mind this shot. I think it's very pretty. I do worry that Moana is too far in the background that people aren't going to like it. Perhaps. Um, <laughs> so I hope it does all right. But yeah, that's why it took so long. That's why it took so long. Never again. Never again, she says. And she'll be back to doing it again next week. <laughs> next up, we have Ali Cat with this submission. And stop. Stop. I cannot, like, how? How am I? Why do I bother with dream snaps? Why do I bother? Do you know what? It's submissions like this that make me go, I understand why I've never won before. <laughs> There's a reason why my highest rank is only eight. I say only eight. Eight is an incredible achievement, by the way. I'm not downplaying that. But that was a fluke. That was pure luck. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, th this, this is the level of competition. And I fully understand and I'm like... I don't deserve to be up there with submissions that are like this. Submissions that are as stunning as this. This is gorgeous. The moon in the background, the lighting. You've got Pua at the front looking super happy and excited. You've got Moana. You've obviously put a torch behind Moana or something because she's glowing. She's got like a halo. Um, <laughs> I love that you've got the boat in the background. Like, I even just kind of like, where is this taken? How have you got the boat there and, but you're on the beach? Where are you? <laughs> where are you? Where did you take this? This is insane. This is stunning, amazing submission, honestly. Mwah, chef's kiss. Next up, we have our lovely Nia with this submission, and I really, really like this. Look at the little turtle poking his little head over the little leafy. It's so, it's so cute. It's such a small detail, but it's very adorable. I love this little like picnic setup. You've got, we've got Moana's house here. We've got a lot of foliage and decor in the background as well. I do see beasts there, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And yeah, this is just a wonderful submission. Your character looks so, so beautiful. And I love this little setup with the like the barrel and the beach chair. Never have I thought of putting these like barrel tables on the beach. I usually use these barrel tables like I did them back in my Tangled Tavern pub build. Um, and I would never think to use them in this way, but it looks so, so good. So I'm stealing that design idea for sure. Next up, we have Sunny Wawa with this beautiful submission. Like the timing on the... Okay, so we've got the Mickey Cloud here, which... 10 out of 10. Love that. Uh, we have Pua looking at the little turtle. Are you kidding me? This interaction right here is so cute. It is so cute. And then we've got Moana here and she looks great and your character looks so lovely. And oh, this is just a wonderful, wonderful submission. And I love this like 
almost like a wall of foliage it is so pretty and then the little decor with the like the crab and the starfish and the coconuts lovely absolutely love the attention to detail next up we have nina with this submission and wow wow <laughs> This is beautiful. Look at this like lush landscape. How pretty is that? And then we have this kind of like almost like a boardwalky kind of walkway to Moana's house, which is really, really nice. Um, and like even Mirabelle, the fact that you've managed to time Mirabelle with the butterfly on her hand like that is so cute. We do have Maui here. We've got Moana. Your character looks adorable. We have the little turtle in the background which is super cute i love this shot i think it's incredible in some ways it feels simple like it doesn't feel overly cluttered if that makes sense but you can tell there's a lot of detail and a lot of elements in this shot and i just love that i love it next up we have Merly b with this submission and i really really like this i love this wall of waterfalls but then you've got like this tree behind it like it just creates such a kind of like unique effect or concept and do you know what i like do you know what i kind of like how you've got this like this is one of the floating islands in the background but do you know what it reminds me of in the film when they have the stack of rocks on top of the like the highest mountain like cliff bit in their valley their village um and then the the leaders place down like a rock um it kind of makes me think of this that scene and having this kind of like big mountain in the middle of the island like that's that's what i think of um so yeah i i love this you've got moana here we've got all the fishing elements i love that you've used this um is it the alchemist table i forget the official name for it but it's that little bench from that mushroom set um i love it how you've put the like coconuts and then like the clamshells the mussels and everything on there and then you've even got the little moana statue there so this is a beautiful submission and i'm very excited to hear about your results next up we have flame g with this submission and it's so pretty again making use of those like sun rays using the orb i do see a little hidden mickey cloud there behind the other clouds which is really really cute you've got maui you've got moana you've got your character here you've got pua so the fact that you've got all three together is amazing i love the little detail with the fish here um and then you've got the little banquet set up here and then even using the beach house works really really well does really add to that village vibe of it so i think this is a wonderful submission i'm very excited to find out what your results are come next week on wednesday next up we have the decorista <laughs> who's also complaining about moana's resting bee face um <laughs> <laughs> i love this i think it's incredible um i do see the little mickey cloud there which is very very cute um again i'm loving this tropical foliage the fact that so many of you are able to transform your valleys so that they look unrecognizable in this way is just such an incredible talent I love that you're holding Pua, you've got Moana there, we've got Moana's home. Again, someone else making use of the the orb thingy. Is this is this the one from the Sunlit Plateau or is this the actual beach one? It could still be the beach one, I'm not sure. But I love this, all the little details. This is guaranteed to do well, I'm sure. Next up we have Hudson. This submission is amazing. I love this. I love that we've got this kind of like almost close up look of the fish boat. Such a cool angle to take this from. You know, we can see the different fish here, which I really, really like. You're stood here posing with Pua. We have Moana in the background, the Maui statue. This is a really, really nice concept, really nice setup. Um, I think this is going to do really, really well. It's, it's, it's just lovely it's a lovely photo next up we have marina with this submission and this is so cool i love this kind of like unique perspective taking it from the bridge in this way 
this is so so cool i love all the little canoe boats we've got the dinghy we've got maui in the background like even just to like include maui off in the distance like i think that was a brilliant move we've got moana at the front you're posing with pua i love all this like lush vegetation the mix of the like trees that you've used with the different heights the different colors the different leaf textures is just really nice and then even decorating with these little lights is um not lights lilies <laughs> lilies is so cute like the way they glow and stuff so i think this is a beautiful submission your character looks super cute as well so i'm very excited to see how well you do next up we have blush danielle with this submission and this is so pretty i love this like little uh like boardwalk this like wooden plank decked area with all the like canopy couches and the casita table the casita table looks so so good i love that we've got moana's hut in the background but the way it's framed with all the lights like how pretty does that look I swear I'm actually I'm actually really inspired by this photo in terms of um so some of you probably know I want to turn my whole valley into a fairy core valley but I do want to have different like themed areas so my plaza has a bit more of a a mix of like building elements city elements and then obviously on the beach I want to go kind of like beach sand fairy possibly pirate pirate fairy vibes and stuff like that and it's it's working out how i can get those kind of like fairy like elements and i think lighting up moana's house in this way is just beautiful the way it kind of like sparkles and glistens is so lovely all the foliage and everything like that oh, oh it's so pretty it is so pretty this is very inspiring in terms of decor and everything like that so i love that it's also a wonderful submission the sky looks beautiful with all the lights and despite this being like a nighttime shot it is not it's not dark it's very well lit so i love this and now we come to our last submission of this video um and for this we have queen 234 and this is a lovely submission i love that you've set it on eternity aisle so we get those lovely waterfalls in the background we have moana looking towards effectively the village the marketplace that kind of vibe i love all the foliage here and everything like that intermixed with all these lights it's very very pretty i think this stands out as a really nice image um and a really kind of like unique shot and perspective to do this from um especially because a lot of people have done it on dazzle beach which understandably so i did that myself so it's not a criticism to anyone on dazzle beach um but i just like i like seeing things that are a little bit different a different way of thinking a new perspective it's i love that i think it's so great to see so yeah your character looks wonderful i'm very excited to find out what your results will be once we get them on wednesday okay so there you have it we're back to a wet and rainy uh <laughs> rainy day here in the valley after seeing all those wonderful and tropical uh submissions for the moana uh dream snap challenge you've all done amazingly you all deserve 4k i'm very excited to see how you all do next week um if you do want to be involved in a video like this make sure to join my discord submit your dream snap in the dream snaps channel and then you could be featured in a video like this um but thank you everyone who's watched i appreciate the time that you've given to me today uh to anyone that does leave a like on the video you mean the world to me and to all my subscribers you are everything <laughs> like you guys like yeah you mean the world to me and my channel members you're all fantastic you're incredible i love you all so much so yes thank you all for being here and i'll see you in the next one bye guys